Hello everybody, this is Laura Grenning. I'm at the Grenning Gallery in Sag Harbor. We um, just hung this spectacular painting. We have a show up now with Hunt Slonim and uh, Christy Gordon. And Christy Gordon is an artist we've been uh, working with for probably 10 or 12 years now. She's a New York Academy graduate. We actually met her at one of those fabulous New York Academy events. I think one of the balls, um, the Park Tribeca ball. Um, anyhow, or, no, it was the open studio night. I have always loved Christie's work because it's a very rare contemporary realist, classical realist, who takes the techniques that she's learned and actually uses them to further a narrative. A lot of the artists kind of stall out at, I'm going to make a beautiful painting because I can and she's pushing and always pushing on. And she's always looking back to different parts of art history. And you're gonna see that when we do a full, we'll do a walk around in the gallery later, but today we really just wanna talk about this, pan, this painting, which is called The Cosmic Lotus. I'm gonna stay on this side. <laughs> the Cosmic Lotus. Um, and kudos for Megan for going in. And, uh, in uh, November, December, when I wasn't really traveling around, she went into New York and curated this exhibit and this is the major work that's come out of her studio, the most recent. Uh, this is a painting uh, called The Cosmic Lotus. You can kind of see her, um, you know, almost like 17th century affectation. Also a little Disney energy there. <laughs> um, and the lotus plant in yoga is a symbol of awareness and a closed lotus plant is before awareness. A partially open lotus plant is the beginning of awareness. A fully open lotus plant is full awareness. And she's, we see that she's looking at Martin Johnson Heath from the 19th century what, with these very beautiful exotic florals. Um, and in fact, this one with this, the, the, the vine and the, and the branch with this flower up top is right, I think, right from a Martin Johnson Heath painting. But you'll notice that, that this lotus is partially open. So she's talking about awareness here. Um, and that is what the theme of this painting is. I also asked her, well, the other thing that I love is that there's this ledge here on the bottom where she's reminding all of us, I'm making you a painting. I'm the artist in charge of this world making you a painting. One of the things I talk to when I talk to artists is about becoming king of the canvas or queen of the canvas, meaning you're not completely um, responsible for copying what you set up in front of you. Your job is to learn how to take this visual language and then create a painting with the visual language. And that's what I see her doing here. This is a nod to those Renaissance painters that would have a portrait of somebody leaning out of the painting. And that's the, the painter kind of, a nod, the painter is nodding to the viewer like, hey, I'm the one who's creating this, um, this version of reality. And she's done that with a very, I mean, it's maybe an inch long ledge along the bottom, but it reminds us that she's in charge. And she has lots of little nooks and crannies that are funny. Here's a, a little ant chewing on um, a strawberry. She's also got the bees and ants and bugs inside the flowers. And I was like, what's with that? I mean, these are beautiful flowers, but when you look close, there's bugs. And it's really part of the a whole idea, the cosmic um, lotus, is this idea that this is all of life, and all of life isn't without bugs. Um, she's also got, obviously, she's got some uh, civil unrest here, and this scary monster, which I'll talk about in a second. But, you know, humans, this is a painting about the nature of humanity. And humans, and we've all witnessed this in the last couple of years, there's civil unrest, there's violence, there's people jousting here. Um, and, but then you get, you get back here, there's also kind of a, a, a classic um, suburban life with a little above ground pool and people playing. But then there's, uh, there's some monsters and then there's a Ferris wheel. Um, this is all about, for her, she said it's about the whole range of what humans are capable of. We're capable of, of, the, fancy of um, the fantasy of having a Ferris wheel but we're also capable of killing each other and burning symbols. Um, and this, she said, was 
was really important to her. Um, and I said, oh, is that like your unconscious fears and is that about you? And she's like, no, that's nature looking back at us saying, what the F are you doing? <laughs> kind of in shock and dismay. So, and if you look closely, this is a scared monster. This is not a monster who's going to eat you. <laughs> he is looking at us afraid. And that's what this is about. Um, and she said, technically, for those of you who are painters who are watching this, this, she wanted this element in here, but she, no matter how she painted it, it just overtook the painting. And the, the solution was to create the dark smoke around it. Um, and she, that's what she's done. And she has actually a jet here that, I don't know if it's on fire or that's the jet engine, but you'll notice throughout this show, she has all different ways of flying. She sometimes has balloons, she has kites, she has, you know, human uh, jets and planes. She also has lots of birds and lots of uh, and bugs that are flying. And this whole idea that that's part of all of nature is to want to fly and to be able to fly. But overall, I find this painting, it looks like it could be very disturbing, but the overall impact, if you step back a little, is a one of lightness and brightness. And you know the beauty of these flowers overwhelm you. You don't see the bugs that are crawling on the peonies um, when you're standing at a distance. And also, in balance, it's about, it, it's beautiful flowers and a beautiful day in the valley, despite the flying bugs and the unrest that we see. What she's doing here is she's inviting you to understand the whole spectrum of the human experience and to accept it and to know that on balance it's going to be bright and beautiful and all of the other things that humans are capable of and bugs are capable nature is capable of is part of the whole cosmic lotus so that's the cosmic lotus this by the way is one of the largest most beautiful paintings we've handled at that price and that's because this is her first major work um, in this scale or the first one that we've handled so i think that this uh, painting has endless bounty for uh the, the curious human um and the esthete i mean the the technical um execution is uh really wonderful and it's uh, again uh, kudos to Christy Gordon for creating a narrative, a major narrative painting with her excellent painting skills. I just think it hits everything that I'm looking for in the gallery. So brava, Christy Gordon, and this is the Cosmic Lotus. <laughs>